The A.J. Cook Arthropod Research Collection contains about 1.5 million arthropod specimens. And arthropods include um, any animal with a hard exterior. We have specimens from all over the world. Uh, with our strength is insects from the Great Lakes that have been collected since the late 1800s. Goal for this, uh, our proposal, our grant proposal, um, was for the physical renovation and electronic expansion of the collection. So thus we have um, cabinetry and uh, storage, which also includes drawers, that are, are fairly old. They were uh, built in the 1950s. And now these have deteriorated over time. If the, if the cabinets and the drawers don't close tightly, other insects, insect pests, that eat our specimens can get in and destroy the collection. And for the electronic expansion, what we're doing is we are going to put on a searchable database on our website about uh, 35,000 uh, species names. Currently, what we have online is a preliminary database. And what that um, includes are um, about 15,000 uh, species names. And you can search by uh, by different categories, uh, say taxonomic categories, whether you know the species name or the genus name or just a larger family, say fireflies. You can search and see all the specimens of fireflies that we have. Eventually, we hope to expand it to include uh, more data uh, such as um, collection uh, locality data. So where was it collected? When was it collected? What was it feeding on? Uh, when it was collected. Um, and hopefully eventually we'll, we will have some pictures of, of the more uh, common species, but that's a, a, a sort of a long-term plan. And I think the, the major um, reason for study is because of their economic impact on uh, human welfare. Insects affect every part of human lives uh, from the food that we grow to our, to our health and, and also in positive uh, aspects too. Uh, insects pollinate our, our food, which it allows it to grow, and that they don't only eat it. And they also are just, um, you know, a sense of wonder, because there are so many of them that you're always finding something new about them.